Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Hypermind Modded here on the FDB Revelation Mod Pack. How's everyone doing? I hope you're doing well. I'm doing well. We got a lot of progress to show off. I figured, you know what? Let's bring the people back in and showcase it. So let's turn around here. And first things first, what we need to do is bring up the HUD and show off what's in the difference here in our tooling, okay? So not much here other than this item dislocator. I got tired of having to go around and collect everything. And so I built this thing. It's a magnet. It doesn't take power. It just takes some draconium, which is not bad if you've got an ore miner and I've got an ore miner. So um, other than that, I think we had the, all of this armor last time. Same with the flux capacitor. How are those doing, by the way? Not too shabby. All right. And anything else? Uh, I've used the shuriken a little bit more and we've got a reinforced modifier on there and increase the attack speed a little bit. Still not the best, but other than that, um, did we have the drill last time? I don't know. This drill is from actually additions. It's very nice. Yes, we did. I, I think I showed it off to you. And also we've got a diamond chisel. We're actually going to do a little bit of work today. I know I've said I'm just going to do work off camera, but you know what? While we're here, we might as well do a little bit of work, okay? So, first order of business up here. Um, yeah, we've got some changes right here that you can see. I've gotten rid of a bunch of chests. You see that? Well, we still got this. Well, why do we have that? Huh. We don't need that anymore. We can tear this one down. Okay, and you see the item dislocator doing its job. Okay, and it is about to be daytime, so we're going to show off something else real quick. And I've got a bunch of bees in here. I'm not going to get into bees on this mod pack. That is for another mod pack. But all of those chests have gone into these two modular storage units. And then all of that, those modular storage units and this drawer controller are controlled through this storage scanner. So we can just chuck items in here and we can... Uh, well, we can do our crafting and all of that fun stuff. So, a few things of note. I went ahead and made a spawner... Uh, spawner changer? Did Oh, we've already used them. That's right. Uh, I went and got some spawners. We've got... It doesn't say on mouse over. That would be nice. I got a Blizz. I got an Enderman. And then I've got two Blaze spawners. And I stole all of those from... No, no, no. Three of them. Two of them from the Nether. I don't know. I can't remember. But the, the way I did it was I went to the Lost City. So the, the way you do that, if you don't know, you take some skulls. It can be any of the major skulls that are available in vanilla Minecraft. And then you put two diamond blocks down in the ground, put a bed on top of those diamond blocks, and then surround the bed with the skulls. It can be zombie, skeleton, creeper, or wither skeleton. And then you just get on the bed and right click. Of course, it sets your spawn, which is kind of annoying. That's a modded thing. I don't really care for a, a my spawn being set, but this takes you to the Lost Cities dimension, which is from Mick JD, who is the author of the RF Tools mod. I don't know if this is part of RF Tools or if it's a separate mod, but you can see it's got it's got kind of this feel of a city that's been overgrown. Of course. All of the damage that you see, a lot of it is for me going around and finding spawners and just grabbing stuff out of there. Yeah, I think that one, yeah, that was me. But uh, all of these buildings have, well, it, it varies. You have to you have to search around, but the buildings will have spawners and, and all sorts of loot. And you can just fly around and pick it all up. Or you can go, you don't have to fly around and cheat, as some people might say you're doing. But... I, I just came in here to get some spawner shards and some spawners and you can go if you want to do that you can do the same thing a couple diamond blocks a bed and six skulls and you just right click and you can go in between uh, overworld and the lost cities now that brings us over to up here and you can see a little bit of something that uh, I showed off just briefly there uh, and and you see up here I've started taking down the trees because I wanted room for a solar panel. We've got one of these environmental tech solar panels. I've got 
currently tier three on there and it's generating something on the order of 25,000 RF a tick. So well, what's, what's this? Huh? Oh, it's because it was nighttime and we, we went through it. I need some better storage too. I'm working on the Traconic storage. That's going to take some wither. Uh, yeah, some, some nether stars. So I, I need to work on a solution for that. So it's one of the, Oh, one of the other uh, spawners that I got, I turned into a wither skeleton spawner. So uh, next next order of business really is to get our mob spawning going. So up here, uh, you know, just added some more some more stuff, some more storage drawers. Uh, we've got the different different crystals from environmental tech. We're building those into compacting drawers so that we don't have to craft the blocks. Same thing with all of the actually additions items too so those crystals yeah just compacting drawers and that makes it nice and easy and and yeah other than that it's not much else i think so let's go downstairs and we'll start looking at some of this other stuff so right here i've been doing some work some decorative work here this is not the bottom floor you can see it in my in my mini map there we're on y17 you can see that we've also got a little bit more work to do on our wall right here. We've got to add in, I'm using marble and the chisel variety of it, of panel. And then here on this floor, we've got laboratory blocks, uh, nice clean white, just no, no detail at all. And we've got right there as our elevator block. And then down here, I've put in a floor and it's just continuing the pattern from upstairs, alternating pant, uh, what is this? Polished diorite and polished andesite. And then around the area, I don't know if I'll be able to find one. Let's see. I've done a chisel. Can I find? Yeah, there we go. Chiseled glass. I don't know why it's called chiseled glass, but we've got a piece of glowstone. And then I took the top layer off of it and replaced the top layer with andesite. And so we've got that all around for some hidden lighting. I've just got this torch right here so that we know where to go for our elevator block over here big changes we've got a tier three void ore miner going and i want to get those crystals right there palladium okay that's the new one that we're working towards excellent and then we'll grab the glowstone as well and the resonating excellent and we'll take that back upstairs awesome anything else that yeah, so let's go upstairs real quick and then we'll come back down and work on what it was I was going to show you. Uh, let's just chuck these in here and I've got a chisel. Oh, palladium crystal. Oh, we don't have, uh, we need a compacting drawer. So let's do that. Can we make one? Do we have all the things? We need a basic drawer. So I wonder if we can do that. Can we do that? No. Yeah, we need to get something a little bit better. Oh man, just give me oak. That's all I want, just oak. Okay. Let's find planks. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that. Boom, 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 okay. And send that all back. How many can we make? Well, that's good enough. Okay. Come over here. Let's do this. And... Oh, we don't... Oh, my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not what I had intended. Let's just turn all of that into planks. Okay. Now, can we do it? Yes. Good. Okay. Compacting drawer. Well, drawer. How about this one? Yeah, let's do that. And we just need one right there. Boom, okay. That was more difficult than it really needed to be. Okay, we don't have anything automatically going in there, so we shouldn't have a problem. We'll just do that. And then we'll grab our key. So I'm glad to bring you along for a little bit of this housekeeping that I am want to do off camera. There we go. Okay, so now we have the latest crystal from here. All right. While we're working on this next thing, 
and that is we're going to go over to this is a tier two void resource miner so we got that going off uh when i was off camera we come over here grab oh we don't have enough marble doesn't look like well that's a shame three stacks so three oh we've got more over here nothing huh well that's that's for shame anyway what we can do is we can take care of this while we're at it so i'm going to use the chisel on the marble let's just talk about what we still need to do we've got our solar panel and it's tier three so it's not quite where we want to be we need a lot more power we need more power storage as well and that's going to come with the draconic evolution i'm going to make one of those energy orbs we got any more over here nothing that's the only marble we got one more so let's do that i don't think we're quite going to get done what we need to get done so what i've got here let me just show you let's turn on preview mode i am slowly but surely filling in this wall okay and that just requires coming down here every now and then and taking the marble from here and then chiseling it and then running running our builder and it's done well that did not last very long we need i guess we just gotta wait a little bit longer and yeah so that was three stacks right there yeah we got a we got a little ways to go uh, i don't know if we can make a tier three resource miner anytime soon i don't think we can because we need a lot of those crystals so I'm still running with the crystal laser lens. It's bringing in plenty of other junk in here and we need to still do, we need to, some sort of automated ore processing. And that's going to be something I work on off camera. Probably going to move my passive power generation down there as well. So we'll move these guys and move all of the thermoelectric generators, move all that stuff down to the very bottom along with the void ore miner and void resource miner. I'm going to move these down there as well for the GP generation. And, and yeah, so I think, I think we've pretty much, I think that's it, you know, of, of the various things that we've done. I've got a bunch of ores here that I pulled off of the void ore miner. We'll run those through whatever solution we end up with, but this is too slow. We need a lot more of these items right here to process all that stuff, especially once we get towards the tier six and i think that's the highest is that let's see at environmental tier and we'll do or yeah yeah tier six yeah so ethium ethium yeah so we got to get the tier six oh that's the ore miner controller how do you get the hmm well i don't know Anyway, we're slowly but surely working our way through there, and we've got a little bit of a design coming together. Power generation is going to move down here, and then mob mob farming is going to happen up here and kind of dip down below the surface here. I'm not sure quite how that's going to work, but uh, we do need a mob farm so that we can get towards automated wither killing. That's a big thing that's going to be in Draconic Evolution and also in Environmental Tech. So... Higher tiers are going to require more nether stars. So we need to come up with some automated way of, um, of generating those. But that, I think, is pretty much it. Let's just grab some screenshots here. And hopefully you've enjoyed this quick look at the latest that's been happening. If you got any comments, questions, or suggestions, feel free to leave those in the comment section down below. Also, just a note, we are working towards advanced rocketry. And we're doing it pretty much off camera. And so if you've got ideas for things to progress this thing a lot faster, do let me know in the comment section down below or hit me up on Discord. I've got a link to my public Discord in the description box below. And uh, if you're looking for more of a Let's Play kind of day-to-day -day tutorial type, check out my Direwolf 20 series as well. This one right here, FTB Revelation, I'm just playing to play and I'm bringing you back in every so often to show you what I've done and it's intermittent there's no schedule as you can see anyway that's going to be it for now thank you so much for joining me on this quick look and we will see you next time bye bye